Hi and welcome everyone to today's presentation of Project Engagement. Uh, my name is Stefan Knutsson. I'm an equity analyst covering the company here at uh, ABG. And uh, with me today I have the CEO, Helena Hed. Uh, welcome, Helena. Thank you very much. Today I look forward to talk to you about Project Engagement and our focus to be experts within buildings. I want to tell you a little bit about our journey from 2006 until today and also our focus forward and I look forward to answer some questions in the end too. So if we could go to the next slide please. We focus on buildings. We are one of Sweden's leading technical and architectural companies, one of the 10 largest companies in Sweden. What we do, we focus to renew the society with innovative and sustainable solutions. And our engineers, architects and experts, they shape the future of tomorrow. And we offer services throughout the whole life cycle of a building, but also what's within it and around it. Every year we have a review of about 1 billion Swedish crowns and you find us on 20 different locations in Sweden, close to our customers with strong focused teams. So if we go to the next slide, please. I would like to tell you a little bit about our projects, but first, every year we do more than 13,000 projects to more than 4,000 clients. So our engineers, our architects, our specialists, they focus on what's in and around buildings. And everything in our industry is driven by the big global trends as globalization, it's urbanization, digitalization, and to combat climate change. So our consultants are needed to make the difference. So there's a stable and solid demand of our services. These are a few projects that we made during 2021 and also going forward, looking for in a sense at the city gate. City gate in Gothenburg is the largest office building in the Nordic countries. It, it's 144 meters high. And we, Project Engagement PE, we are the main constructors and designers of the frame. If we look at, for instance, Ångströms Laboratoriet, this is one of the larger buildings uh, at the university in Uppsala. Our architects, our landscape architects been involved as well as our uh, engineers, as well as looking to telecom and electricity. And we also been able to, to uh, have the whole contract for all the consultants at Armstrong's laboratory, a really impressive uh, project. And finally, looking at the Tram Museum in Stockholm, this is an old building and we have the possibility to, to uh, have the whole contract where we renew the Tram Museum. So these are a few of the projects where we are involved and where we can make a difference. So if we go to the next slide, please. Our history started in 2006 and today we are a multidisciplinary consultant company with all the different kinds of expertise needed. What we do is we create the future, the cities and the society of tomorrow. And our history and growth journey, it's been organic growth, but also by acquisitions. So in the beginning, 2006 until 11, we see this as a startup phase. Then we start to build a critical mass, and now we have a foundation for future growth. In 2018, we were listed on the stock market on Nordic small cap, and we have had a small tough start since the introduction. In 2019, we decided to 
have one company, one brand. So we went from 50 different companies to one brand, one PE, which is very important for us. Although we also had to make restructions of the company and we had a big cost saving program in 2019. We entered 2020 in a better shape, but then we were also affected by the pandemic. So for instance, in the fourth quarter of 2020, we had 260 employees in short-term leave and we ended 70 employments. Although all these actions taken have been important because they created this strong platform, which I see that we have to enable future profitable growth for the company. So if we go to the next slide, please. 2021 was a really eventful year for me. It was my first year as the CEO of the company. And as I said before, we took a lot of measures to have this efficient and stable platform to enable profitable growth today and in the future. We took a, a really focus on the strategy going forward, and I will tell you more about this further on. We also have had a strong focus on sales and on recruitment, and this gives result. What we also can see is the market has been stabilizing uh, since it's been affected by the pandemic, and we entered 2022 in a better market condition. So if you go to the next slide, please. Our focus and our ambition is to be Sweden's leading technical consultant specialized within buildings. I can really feel that we have a strong culture in the company. And when I look at the offer we have, it's wide and it's high and it is sustainable. And when I say high, I want to say that we are one of the leading companies today in Sweden. We have a very strong position on the tall buildings in Sweden. But when I say high, I also look at the high competence within all our employees. When I say white, we have a multidisciplinary skills. We do everything from preschools to schools, to hospitals, to commercial buildings, to properties where we live. We work with uh, old buildings, new buildings. We help museums, as you saw, and we help the Swedish army. So it's a very wide and multidisciplinary skill. And it's a very broad and wide base of clients and a wide range of projects where we work. And it's a stable demand. And when I say sustainable, for us, it's very important that we every day we work with sustainable and innovative solutions. It's important to have a sustainable business and it's important for us to have a sustainable workplace. So sustainability in everything that we do in the projects, but also developing our employees. So if we go to the next slide, please. Our focus forward is to continue to be a committed partner, a long term partner to our customers. We want them to recommend us and we want them to choose us over and over again as their partner. What we do is that we develop and grow in our core areas and that's everything within and around the buildings, within architecture, within a consultancy with engineers and specialists. We are a creative and learning organization. And for me and us, it's very important to build the competence within all our employees. We can uh, contribute to combating climate change. And for me and us, it's very important that in every assignment we do, we can make the sustainability a little bit better all the time. So every assignment is important every time we can contribute to the sustainable society development. And of course, we new, use new technology and digitalization to be in the front line. So if you go to the next slide, please. 
So what's we've been doing during 2021, it's concentrating to our core areas, it's focusing, it's streamlining the company, everything aiming to be a better partner and also to be able to have long-term profitable growth. One measure we take, have taken is to focus our business to Sweden. That means that we ended our involvement in India. So our customers are customers in Sweden. We also choose to divest our railway expertise that was not a part of our core business and also an unprofitable part of the business. So in September, we divested the railway expertise. We also decided to move out some parts of process and product development in order to really focus on what we do best. And finally, we also chose to decentralize our organization, taking away one management level and also merging business areas to larger units. And this has given us a more sales focused, more customer focused uh, organization with the clients always in the site. So if we go to the next slide, please. During the last year, we also updated our financial targets, and this is to reflect the, uh, the potential we see, the great potential I see going forward. So the EBITDA margin is 10% over time, and I see that there's no reason why PAE should not have the same margin level as other leading companies within the industry. So 10% EBITDA margin over time, and we also have a 15% percent growth over time and this includes the organic growth but also acquisitions so if we go to the next slide please it is very important for us to grow so during last year and also during 2022 we have a lot of focus on the organic growth for instance we work a lot with our culture and the leadership development and I can see this gives results. Last year and this year, we have top scores in employee satisfaction and also in customer satisfaction. So we have top record in the ENPS and also in the NPS, two KPIs which are very important for us. And also, we welcomed a record number of new colleagues in 2021. So we will continue to focus on the activities that will enable organic growth going forward. So if we go to the next slide, please. If I make a short summary and a short outlook, we have chosen this strategic, uh, have a very strategic focus, which streng strengthen our position going forward. So by 2025, we are the leading technical consultant and architect in Sweden, and we focus on buildings. This is important for us. The focus and uh, looking forward has made a difference for us. We can see that the sales activities has improved the order intake, and we have stable demand on our service. So we entered 2022 in a much better shape with a better order intake and a better order backlog than before. We will continue to focus on recruitment and sales. That's very important to us to create the highest customer value, the best workplace, place which will give us the long-term profitable growth. And we will also supplement the organic growth with strategic acquisitions around the country within Sweden. And we can also see this positive market condition, although, of course, we everyone look at Ukraine, Ukraine and, and Russia, and it's devastating what's happening. So except for these unpredictable, unpredictable external factors, we see a positive market condition. And there is always a demand of building a renewing society. The architects, the engineers and specialists are needed to create sustainable future together. So I feel very proud 
I'm very convinced that all the actions we have taken, all the measures we've chosen, the focus we have in the business will give result. And I see uh, this journey to take PE to full potential as the best thing I could do. It's uh, been a really good and nice year 2021. And I, I look forward to the journey forward with the company. And with that said, Stefan, I know you have some questions. Presentation, Helena. Uh, and as you said, you, you have been uh, about uh, or roughly more than a year with uh, PE now. Uh, what would you say that uh, you're most proud of and are the key lessons and what is still to, to be done? I'm very proud of all the employees working with the culture, working with uh, uh, making a lot of new employees. We, we signed 156 new contracts with new employees last year. That makes me very proud. I also am also very proud of the management team with a focus and with this, this strategic direction which we put up and the platform we now have going forward. So the culture and, and all the employees. Perfect. <laughs> and, and then if we look some on some more on the on the business side, uh, I mean, uh, the market conditions seem to be uh, to be good going into 2022. Unfortunately, now we have to to talk about uh, Russian Russia's invasion of Ukraine. Uh, you're a Swedish company, obviously. You don't have any direct exposure to that. But uh, do you see any change from from your customers uh, that they are more uh, maybe uh, not as quick to make decisions or or anything uh, on that side? Not yet. As you said, we are a Swedish company. We help the Swedish clients in Sweden. We don't have any assignments in Russia or Ukraine. We don't have any employees in Russia or Ukraine. And we can still see that all our clients are, are working with a focus going forward. But of course, everyone is um, considered about what will the next step be. But still, what we do, it's long-term projects. So from the first from the first ID of a house, for instance, it can take 10 to 15 years before it's uh, it's constructed. So still we see that the clients are going on. Perfect. And, and another thing that we have witnessed is, is uh, soaring energy prices in Europe uh, as a consequence of, of this invasion. Uh, I mean, you uh, have sustainability as uh, one of your uh, core values. Uh, do you think that uh, you can actually have uh, increased demand from, from customers looking to make the buildings more energy efficient uh, as a yeah, solution to, to this problem? Definitely. And this is what we work with all the time to make more energy efficient solutions. So the demand is increasing even more now and today and going forward. Perfect. And uh, I know that during 2021 you, you uh, had decline in, in revenues uh, overall for the group. Uh, part of that was because uh, you had fewer employees uh, at the beginning of the year and then you did in 2020. Uh, 2020. Uh, the situation is uh, looks similar now with you entering 2022 with less employees uh, than you had last year. But what would you say is different uh, this time around? I can see that now we have this platform ongoing. We have the sales and the recruitment process going on. Uh, we also have this better order backlog, better order intake, and we have the stable platform going forward. So I see that we will have the organic growth going on during 2022. Perfect. Uh, and in the year-end report, you reported uh, uh, impro substantially improving uh, employee promoter scores and also net promoter scores from your customers. Uh, how important would you say that this will be for PE going forward? Very important. The employee satisfaction and the client satisfaction is it's very important. To be number one, that means to be the first choice for the employees and for the clients. So for me, this is a very positive sign for us and for the future. And can you give uh, some examples on what you think have been the drivers of, of these improvements? 
a lot about the culture, a lot, a lot about leadership. For instance, more than half of all our leaders are entering and going our leadership program. Uh, we work about a lot with our, um, for instance, what is the best workplace and how can we together shape the best workplace? So it's a lot about the culture trip that we are going through at this time, but also as asking the, uh, the clients, what do you think is good? What can we do better? How can we help you even more? So the more focus we have on the client and the client satisfaction, that also gains the uh, employee satisfaction, which also gains better results, both in the projects, but also in the margin EBITDA. Perfect. And if we look on, on uh, the employee side, uh, I know most forecast sees that engineers is a shortage in Sweden that, and that there is no uh, short term solution to this. Uh, how much would you say this is an issue for, for uh, PE and, and how do you work with uh, you know, attracting talent and also uh, maintaining talent uh, within the organization? I think that this is a problem for the whole industry um, and it is a lack of both architects, it's a lack of engineers who know construction or engineers who know energy efficiency or sustainability. Uh, so to win the battle is to have this, as I said, the best workplace where employees can feel that they can develop, that would build people, that they can get new challenges in their job. Um, to have the great leadership and a good culture and that we together shape the workplace, a sustainable workplace where we want to work for a long time. So I think that's very important for us. And that's to win the battle because it is, as you said, a lack of engineers. Uh, perfect. And then some on, on the financial side, uh, you reported an beta margin of 5.6% for 2021. Uh, and you have a financial target of 10% EBITDA margin. Uh, what would you say will be needed in order to reach uh, that level of profitability? I think organic growth is uh, very important for us. Uh, also, of course, the billing ratio and also the hourly rates. And we work with all these three uh, parameters. And in Q4, you, you actually had uh, uh, improvements in two of the business areas, uh, whereas the installation uh, segment uh, had some problems. Uh, would you say that uh, it's, it's mostly to turn the installation side around to, in order to, to gain traction on the margin target, or uh, how do you view it? I see that we have great potential in architecture and in, in uh, engineering too, so we can still raise uh, our EBITDA margin and we need to make the structural changes within uh, systems. But we, I also want to say that in systems we were more affected by the pandemic. We had uh, assignments that were stopped and did not start as early as, for instance, the architects. And what's important to understand that the architects are very early in the business cycle. So it's a positive side that the architects are really developing so well right now. Perfect. Uh, and then lastly, uh, historically, Project Engagement has been quite active with uh, acquisitions. Uh, it has been more quiet now for the last uh, two years. Uh, but uh, as we saw with your revenue target, uh, I suspect that uh, acquisitions will be uh, an important part going forward. And I just want to hear uh, more about your, your thesis there and, and if you do any progress on, on that side. The M&A agenda is important for us and we will continue growing with the uh, acquisitions. And for us, I think this focus uh, within building, it's also driving the M&A agenda and makes it easier for us to find the perfect match companies that will develop within PA project engagement companies that we together can make even better uh, projects for the clients. So we will continue uh, with the M&A agenda and it will be strategic acquisitions that we will make, both acquisitions that will help us to grow on different kind of locations, but also who will uh, bring new competences to the company. And this focus of being, uh, you know, specialized on buildings, uh, would you say, how much would you say that this decreases the, the potential targets that, that are out there? Not that much. Perfect. 
uh, then I will look forward to, to following you uh, during this year and, and uh, hopefully see, see the improvements that you are talking about. Thank you.